YouTuber products. Quite possibly the most controversial topic on all of YouTube. Some are amazing. Some are thought to be a complete scam. And today, I need to find out which ones are which. Also, I hate paying for shipping, so I'm gonna do the next logical thing. I'm in Los Angeles. Dobrik's Pizza, baby. Maybe the most hyped pizza on the planet. David also opened his restaurant at the exact moment that some uh, interesting news came out. But that didn't stop people from waiting for over four hours to buy a single slice of pizza. How many days have you been waiting? Four days. It's time to get this bread. Not metaphorically, literally. Let's get this bread, Kings. I should also mention that the reviews online are not all glowing. They also gave me these two coins, but I can't celebrate till I've tried the pizza. Moment of truth. I've literally thought about this pizza a lot. That sounds weird to say, but it's true. Let's take a peek. I haven't even looked at it yet. This is huge. What we have here is a spicy honey pepperoni pizza. Dude, low key, it does look sick. It looks really good. David, I wish you hadn't ghosted me on Instagram because we could have been eating this together. It would have been so fun and cute. All right, here I go. Okay. For each YouTuber restaurant, I'm going to place them on this tier list to try to find out which products are worth it and which ones are a complete scam. It's kind of expensive. It's like $33. I came into this wanting to give a bad review, guys. I'm going to give this an A. I kind of love it. Turns out some Tweezy Army members are also here right now. Come on in. What do we rate this pizza? Nine. I give it a 9.5. It's not just me, okay? The fans love it too. You slide it in there and hit the, hit the party button. Let's go, baby. Come on. Oh yeah, we're partying. Yep. This is awesome. I'm excited to see how the biggest YouTuber on the planet compares to Dobrik's. But first, I need to see if you even need to be a large YouTuber to have a successful product. So I stopped by another Vlog Squad member's shop, Jonas Kebab. And as I walked in, I was greeted by Jonah's mom. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? Doing well. Who also asked me to follow her on TikTok. Kind of heavy pricing, it's like $20. I got the chicken and I got the beef. Here we go. What do we think? I like it a lot. I don't even know what it is, really. Now, where does it fall on the tier list? I think I'd put it in the B section. All right, I need to go to New York now. Let's do this, Kings. Let's get this bread. After that kebab, I was feeling good. Guys, I just threw up a lot. Like, not a small amount. Like, a lot, a lot. Listen, I'm not pointing fingers. It could have been anything. I don't know. Either Jonas Kebabs or David are getting sued for food poisoning. Speaking of suing, our next product is by far the most controversial product so far in this video. What do you do for a living? A vomit and a poop. Yeah. I just hit up Hampton Inn. I told it never the same, bro. Man, RIP to that janitor. They're about to find a new species. Last time I was in this building, there were over 10,000 people queuing for this place just to try it. That's right, Mr. Beast Burger. Or should I say, Mr. Least Burger? <laughs> No, nobody's here. Mr. Beast is taking his show to the courtroom as he sues the company that provides food for the restaurants that bear his name. After virtual dining concepts delivered food that customers labeled inedible. You know, obviously the spice is called Beast Burger, but it's interesting because he's suing them and they're suing him that Beast logos and everything is just plastered everywhere. I, I have a tattoo of Mr. Beast's logo. That's a real fact. Is it really as bad as Jimmy says it is? Does it need to be shut down? I got everything that you could possibly Possibly imagine on this menu, crinkle fries, grilled cheese, and a signature Mr. Beast burger. Let's get this bread, it's time. I feel like you need to compare burgers to whatever the cheapest good option you know is available. I happen to know that In-N-Out is available, and In-N-Out is like $6 for a burger and fries. It's a really good burger and fries for $6. This is not as good as the In-N-Out burger, in my opinion. Let's try the grilled cheese. That's just kind of an L item on a menu, in my opinion. I'm sorry, it just kind of is. All right, last item. Look at these fries. Frozen Kringle fries. Which honestly aren't even that bad. They're fine. But if I had to tier list this sucker, let's see. The next stop also happens to be in New York, and you probably didn't even know it existed. I get it, Jimmy. I understand why you want to close it down. And now I need to cleanse my palate, which is why I'm at 16 handles. I bet you didn't know that's a YouTuber product. A little bit of information for you today. Let's go get some ice cream. I don't know what I'm carrying. Why do I still have this? It's like the best thing to get. Vanilla. Vanilla. You can't go wrong. Peanut butter, Nutella. Dang. Let's get this. Dude, look at all these toppings. Crazy toppings. All right, let's get this bread, King. Presenting to you 16 handles frozen goodness. I got a couple. I got the vanilla because the guy was like, vanilla is the best one. Kind of crazy to start with vanilla, but I might agree with him. And then I got peanut butter because that just seemed right. I bet you didn't know that this is actually a YouTuber co-owned business. Danny Duncan 
co-owns 16 Handles. Yeah, so 16 Handles is a uh, Froyo ice cream spot. We have 30 plus locations right now. It's like New York City's biggest Froyo. And I actually kind of love that because these other YouTuber products, it's like their faces are plastered all over it. You would have absolutely freaking really no idea that Danny Duncan co-owns this place. Excuse me. Yeah? Are you, are you eating this right now? Yeah. Would you review this with me? I feel like I'm a, I love ice cream, so I'm a little partial to this. I need like an extra opinion. Sure, why not? Why you not? love, you like ice cream? <laughs> you do realize it's frozen yogurt, right? Same thing. What do you think of it? This is actually really good. Did you know that a YouTuber owns this? No. Do you watch YouTube? I'm not the biggest YouTube guy. Well, maybe hmm. if you were, you would also be super successful. So what are you eating? M&M's, cookies and cream. We have to tier rank this thing. Granted, you haven't eaten all the same food that I've eaten in the last 48 no. hours. I give this an A with the toppings on it. Without the toppings? Without what do you the think? toppings, it'd be one tier lower. The toppings really make it that much better. Dude, I have no toppings. I feel like an idiot. Can I try yours? Uh, I'm trying a complete stranger's <laughs> ice cream. Did you get M&M's? No, I did. Dude, this is really good. In my opinion, mm. this is S tier YouTuber product. Time to head to Great Britain, London. Let's get this bread, Kings. Hey, thanks, dude. Welcome to Great Britain. <laughs> Every staring at me now. Yeah, I'm just the American in, uh, in London. That's this Big Ben. I'm here to see the biggest YouTuber brand on the planet. This next YouTuber is actually seven YouTubers that are collectively worth over $55 million. London, home of the queen. Wait, is the queen dead? Fine. The queen's dead. Frick. Home of the king. <laughs> and they are the number one YouTube channel in the UK with a collective 150 million subscribers. Even the co-owner of my favorite beverage, Prime, KSI, is a member of this group. And they have insane pull. But could this be the best YouTuber product? Here we go, baby. Sides. Right across the street from Wingstop and Dixie Chicken. That's... That seems pretty bold. Welcome to Sides. Yeah. It's here. It's good, I think. The interior feels kind of like a nightclub, except instead of beer, they have sauces on tap. That's cool. Okay, so basically, it seems like their whole thing is chicken, fried chicken. It says up here, fried chicken, seven sauces, you decide. Seven sauces makes me think maybe it's because the seven side men, I don't know, I'm just, you know, I'm just thinking, you know, maybe. I'm a genius. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm so pumped. Which side are you on? Yeah, I flew thousands of miles to eat fried chicken and fries. Was it financially responsible? Probably not. Is my wife like not super stoked about our bank statement the last couple months? I'm gonna eat this fried chicken now and tell you how it tastes. Yeah, you thought I was gonna come to London and not get Prime? They actually give you Prime in there if you want it as your drink instead of Coke, which is awesome. Dang, that looks really good. Their whole thing is sides. So I got buttermilk ranch. I should also mention that this whole meal is $22. I'm kind of spendy. I got the medium spicy. I'm gonna dip it in there because it feels essential. Let's get this. Come on. It's really good. <laughs> You're also probably wondering why I'm wearing these glasses. These are Big Stars glasses. You guys, they don't just do food. These guys are insane. The Sidemen do sunglasses, food. They have a vodka. They have a seltzer, trading cards. They have everything. This chicken's really good. We got the fries. I got the loaded ones, I panicked. How do they have time for this? They have four channels. They post every day on every channel, pretty much. How do they have time for this? They also have an entire membership website where they upload extra content. I feel like, I actually just feel like I don't do enough. No shock, it's just delicious. Let's give this a tier list. I flew thousands of miles for 10 minutes of filmmaking. Was it worth it? Yeah, actually, it kind of totally was. This is a nine out of 10. This is S tier. I said it. It's S tier. You did it, Sideman. I love you. I've never even met you. Let me meet you. All right, I'm gonna leave. I gotta go home. I miss my wife. Goodbye. Today's review of sides. It's good. It was really good. Go watch another one so I can afford these flights, please.